I think we're good on battery and time. <clears throat> My name is Duncan Alderdice, and the reason I'm making these videos is to... No, it's not, it's not that one. Hold on. <laughs> My name is Duncan Alderdice, and I'm making the... My name is Duncan Alderdice, and the reason I'm making these videos is to document my journey as I become the person that I am. The person I am. I think that's what I'm not. I, what I need to actually do is sit down and fucking write it out. So, today's a crazy day. Well, uh, not a crazy day, but it just is more... So, only 66 dials, but two book demos, and none coming from LinkedIn, which feel fake. They're not fake, like I still had to actually work for them, but it's like not the real, like I'm pounding the phones. And doing it but again only 66 dials and still getting that so that's it's interesting i'm curious why that is i don't know whether it's a i don't i like what i'm curious is do i have to should i still do more volume and will i get more result or since i've previously done a lot of volume i now am able to handle the calls that i'm doing now more effectively but actually what i think it is is because I was looking at the connection rates for the past two months of the junior account executives. And so mine actually was the highest um, from a percentage standpoint, meaning of the approximately, we'll call that, of the approximately 4,500 dials that I have made, 10% have result in a connection. Whereas for the other guys, like there was like, they made, did more volume than me, like um, like 5,000 and around 6,000, but had a six and 2% connection rate. Um, so then I was thinking about that. I was going, why would that be the case? Because it's, how can I be succeeding when I haven't actually done anything? Like dialing the phone is not something I'm doing that is unique to me that you couldn't train anybody to do. So what is different? And then so I asked my manager about it and he said, what did you think? Because <laughs> he didn't have like an obvious idea. My thought was because I, when he suggested that I actually follow the spreadsheet that me and the other junior account executive have been working on, um, based on the results that I was getting for myself, which show that the 10 to 11 time slots, a good time, the one to two time slot, and especially that four to five time slot, I then will do the same sort of volume approximately, but confined and, and more in those particular hotspots. And that could be contributing to that sort of um, increased pickup rate, which is with not nice to know, because that was, again, one of those ideas that I have verify that actually then work. When I have an idea like that, or not I have an idea, When I, when I discover an idea like that, no. My trouble with both those sentences is it feels like it's too much me. When in reality, it's something that was there that, that I've encountered or uncovered or discovered. It like I feel like discovered is the right one, but it's not like a, I discovered it. Anyways, let's get move past. To discover that idea, then use the information that is from that, and then that actually to have a tangible result is, I think satisfying is the word, or gratifying, encouraging, incentivizing. Encouraging, I think is, is, the, is the right sort of thing. Um, so that's that. So then maybe perhaps because I'm do doing less dials, because I'm focusing on specifically those times, slots, I can still have the same output because if I were to do 200 dials in a day, which requires me to dial eight hours a day, unless you double dial, well, it requires me to be dialing more times of the day. I could be dialing more dials in time slots that are less likely to have pickups. And therefore, although it appears that my connection rate is lower, I think that's actually I think that that's actually um, what it would be is I'm curious whether if we looked at the time of day that me and the other junior account executive who had a lower con connection rate. Um, but we looked specifically at those time slots, whether those that uh, disparity, di that difference would still exist. And I think actually what I would say is it wouldn't. So then while, although it may appear like my connection rate is higher, in reality, it is the same. I'm just not calling during the times when people don't pick up as often or reliably. 
Um, so that's fun. <laughs> what else was I talking about? Also, again, so uh, like today, not drinking tonight, and I don't even have the desire to because I said to my manager, I'm not doing that. Um, last night I did it and what it turned into was me spending the hour and a half like editing videos not doing as many text edits so I can actually get through them but then like making a meal living the life that I would want to actually like I'm actually trying to get towards living <laughs> um, and so I think what's just so funny is the the simple difference is the awareness of another person of that behavior I would like to stop is enough of a deterrent to eliminate the behavior entirely. And with the behavior and desire for that behavior eliminated entirely, the door opens up for the behavior I do desire to do. And when those are my two options, this one is, more, is a worse outcome than this one. So this one perce is perceived as easier. If this one doesn't exist, this one is perceived as harder and worse than going to the SAQ and buying bottles of wine and just kind of chilling and watching YouTube. Which then, I, I think it just brings down to then the fact going like, like so being self-disciplined or being disciplined is less so about having like the strength of character to do the things that you require to do. Although I don't doubt that that could be an element of it because there are some things that need to be ah, no but I think it just could be like it, you need to have the cunning or the wit or not so much of you possess an ability but um you need to set yeah, I think that's more of the better phrasing you need to set yourself up in an environment such that you're it's easier to do the things you'd like to do and harder to not do those things I that's the phrasing more of it you need to set up your environment such that it's harder not to do the things you want to do yes it's harder not to do it's harder to not do the things you want to do i think i've said it i just don't know where the right and fastest to put is that's a joke <laughs> um, also what i find funny it's got i got a letter in the mail from the bank today um and here's what i find funny is that the bank I'm not going to say the name because it's, I'm not trying to target a particular institution, but it will not fail to remind me whether that's by email notification or text message, like all this, when my credit card balance is due or my checking account is getting low or whatever that that is, like they'll never fail to tell me you owe us money. But even if I'm a bad customer who doesn't pay on time, they will never fail to deliver me a replacement card <laughs> such that I still can be with with them so i just I, that's just one of those funny things of going like hmm, do you actually want me to pay back i think the answer to that actually is no um i know i need to do it i just haven't yet or i'm trying to work on it i'm just making bad de purchasing decisions which is preventing me from paying it off in full consistently enough to keep it low which is the benefit of having a financial advisor or a financial planner because they will help you do those things um, oh, I guess the last thing is, um, um, <laughs> uh, just the end of the day, because I sent that message to my sales manager, then that sparked him to like, I guess, huddle me, which is a Slack thing. And then we had like a 30 minute conversation, which talked about like the Prita distribution. It was, it was so fucking, it was like all of the things that I think about that I finally got to actually say to someone in a context that is relevant to the information rather than them just being a, the, rather than it just being me hyper interested and enthusiastic about these ideas and therefore because they are interested in me, whether that's from a, a relationship or familial point of view, listening to me, you know what I mean? Like, it's not just like, oh, a friend's listening to you because you're passionate about it, but you're actually speaking to somebody who this information is relevant to beyond it just being interesting to you. That's what it is. Um, so that was fun. He sent me a message. I will respond to it after. There are great conversations. I was just talking about that. Um, yeah, that's it. Feeling fantastic. As always. <laughs>